Okay, this question, we're given a, um, a Diophantine equation. That means the x and y are integer values. And it says x plus xy plus y is 52. And again, they do emphasize that x and y are integers. And they want you to find x plus y, the value of that. <coughs> I also want to point out, you may want to watch this guy's video. That's where I saw the problem. Thought it was an interesting problem. Um, and cer certainly doable. Um, and I'll go through what I would uh, do to do the problem. All right? So I'm going to go to the whiteboard, and um, you know certainly paper and pencil, no calculators. And I'm looking at it. I'm going to write it down for you. It's x plus x times y plus y is equal to 52. Right? They go on to say x and y are integers. Their question is, what's the value of x plus y? That's their question. All right. <coughs> couple ways of doing it. You know, the first way of doing it, I, I'm going to point out the first way I looked at it was um, I, I wanted to solve for y. And if you do that, I'll write down what you get. You get y times x plus 1 equals, and again, what I do, I factor out y from that. And then I get 52 minus x. The next thing I would do is divide both sides by x plus 1, and then they get 52 minus x over x plus 1. Now, what I know is I know y is an integer, so I'm wondering what kind of numbers would make that an integer, right? The 52 minus x over x plus 1. And the way I'd recommend doing that is, um, you know, maybe rewriting as minus x minus 52 over x plus 1. And for me, the reason to do that is so I can long divide. So I want to go through the long division with you. x plus 1 divide into x minus 52. And that goes in one time. And you're going to get x plus 1. You're going to subtract, you get um, uh, minus 53. All right, let me write this down over here. So what do you get? Well, maybe I should write it down a little bit differently. Get my eraser out. i got to be careful. It's minus, well, I get 1, and then I get minus the remainder, because that's minus 53, over the divisor, which is x plus 1. All right? So I'm going to say y is equal to, let's see, 53 over x plus 1 minus 1. Now, what's nice about 53? 53 is a prime number. Which means... I'm just looking at this number over here, and I want to make sure it divides through. So one thing I could do is I could say x equals 0. Right? And if you did that, let's go through that. What would the y equal? Well, if x is 0, well, you get 0 plus 1. Right? 0 plus 1 is uh, uh, 1, and 53 divided by 1 is 53. You get 53 minus 1 is 52. This is one answer. All right? Now, the question is, what other numbers could you use um, I could say x is equal to, well, looking at it, I want 53 to be divisible by, well, it could be 1 or it could be uh, 53. So it would be 52 now. And what would y equal? Let's make sure we're careful about this. It's going to be 53 divided by 53, which is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, granted, someone says that, that that's got to be the answer to the question. I think there's others. For example, I could take x to be, again, I use integer values, by the way, minus 2. All right. If you did that, if you put minus 2 down there, what would you get? Well, you get 53 minus 1, which is minus 53, and minus 53 minus 1 is minus 54. All right. What else could I do? There's another one. I'm going to say minus 54. Because minus 54 plus 1 is going to be minus 53, and 53 divided by minus 53 is minus 1, and minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Now, someone says, what was your question? Their question is, what's the sum of x plus y? Well, one possibility is 52. They both get 52. The other possibility is minus 56. They both get minus 56. These are the two answers. Now, that's one way to do it, all right? So I'm going to talk about another way of doing it, and we'll look at this over here. It's x plus xy plus y is equal to 52. The one thing I'd recommend doing over here is that, it, and certainly I would recommend factoring it, but I realize that the, the left side really doesn't factor, but it, it partially factors. Like if I wrote this over here, x, and this would be x 
I'm sorry, not x. Sorry about that. It would be 1 plus y. So what I'm starting to realize is that I want to make this the same thing, which is uh, y plus 1 or 1 plus y. Let me write down as 1 plus y. I changed the problem now. I'll tell you why I changed the problem. I add 1. So if you add 1 to the uh, left side, you add to the right side, and that becomes 53. Now this equation, this equation are identical. All right, just to show you that, I'm going to erase it though. This is x plus xy plus, I'm sorry, xy, plus 1 plus y equals 53. This is x plus xy plus y. Subtract 1 from both sides, you get 52. So it's really the same thing. We're getting the same exact thing. Now, um, I want to erase this over here, and I'm going to factor this now. And what do you get there? Well, 1 plus y, and then x plus, there's a coefficient of 1 there, 1 equals 53. And again, I'm really at the same story again. The story is the product of these two numbers must be 53. These must be integers. We're going to get the same results over here, same ones. So what's the sum going to be? 52 and minus 56, and we're done. Thank you.